Hi everyone and welcome back to the IMG Marvels Instagram page. My name is Heba Freely and this is the second video of the Foundation Year 2 standalone series. In today's video, we have Dr. Tuba Khan going through the Foundation Year 2 Oriel application as well as the recruitment process timeline for 2020. Keep in mind that the 2021 dates have not yet been released. This video helps to give you estimate dates of the application so you can get your documents ready in time and also will give you an insight as to what happens over the months after you have submitted your application. Please make sure you watch the previous video to make sure you've gone through the eligibility criteria required to apply for Foundation Year 2. So let's get on with the video. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Tubal Yas Khan. I am a graduate from RCSI, Royal College of Surgeons Ireland in Bahrain, um, class of 2018. And I'm here today to talk to you about the Foundation Year 2 program. Every year will be different and they will be releasing a uh, FI2 applicant's guide that will help you along with the process and help you understand the timeline for your specific recruiting year. So there's a few things that you need when you're applying for the FY2 program, one of them being your primary medical qualifications, so that's your degree, and then proof of English language, any certification that you have from audits, teaching experience, any publications, your ILS certificate is also very important. It's something that they will ask you for if you have not completed your ILS by the time that you are applying for the FY2 program, then you will need to give them information of a booking. That you, have, that you have looked into booking an ILS program um, to be able to take that course before the start of FI2 essentially. And on top of that, any other thing that you've done, any other accomplishments that you wish to submit to them, your PLAB results, if the PLABs are applicable to you. Um, if you're not an EU passport holder, then you'll have to show them proof of PLAB 1 and PLAB 2, and then your registration. Now there's been a few queries about regarding um, registration. So essentially, you can apply for your FY2 post before having completed PLAB2 examinations and before acquiring um, provisional or full registration. You just need to be able to prove to them that by the time that FY2 begins, which is usually around the 5th of August, that's what it is for this year, that's the timeline for this year. So you need to be able to give them proof that you will have your PLAB 1, PLAB 2 completed and you will have full license to practice and be done with an FY1 equivalent before the starting date, which is 5th of August, essentially. Now, to be able to apply, you need to have your PLAB 1 done already. It is not something you can show them a booking for. You need to have it done and you need to have it passed. For PLAB 2, you need to show them proof that you booked your PLAB 2 exam. That's very, very important. But you need to not have sat it already. You just need to show them proof that you've booked your examination. You can also show them your provisional license if you have not completed your internship year, but you've completed your PLAB 1 and PLAB 2 examination. Or the best thing, for you to have is your full GMC registration, which means that you've done your PLAB 1, you've done your PLAB 2, you're done with everything, you're fully registered, you're good to go for a job. You can apply for the FY2 standalone training program once a year for our year. That was between January 6th to February the 3rd, 2020. That's when the applications were open and you were able to submit your application during that time period. Now, after the submission, a committee sits down and they discuss whether you should be longlisted, if you meet the minimum criteria. The longlisting emails are released to the applicants on the 24th of February, 2020. When it comes to Foundation Year 2, longlisting is basically the equivalent of the eligibility checking in Foundation Year 1. The person specifications take into consideration the following factors. Your qualifications, your clinical knowledge and skills, your language and communication skills, and attributes, plus the fitness to practice. You must meet all of the criteria outlined in the person specification to be long-listed or eligible. A detailed table of the person specification for Foundation Year 2 is available in Appendix 3 of the 2020 F2 Standalone Applicant Guidance on page number 27. 
from the 26th of February to the 1st of April, we were able to book our interview slots. Now, this could be over Skype or face-to-face -face because of the COVID situation. All of our interviews were changed to Skype. But if you are given the option, this is a very personal preference. Later on, I will go into detail about how to prepare for your interview and what resources you need to use. But right now, we're focusing on the timeline. So you book your slot on Oreo, and then the interviews for us took place between the 5th to the 16th of April. These were 20 minutes in 20 minute interviews. And on the 20th of April, interview outcomes were released to the applicants. So now that's done, um, you will get a preferencing window from the 28th of April to the 5th of May 2020. This is what happened for us. Now, once that was closed on May 5th, so we were given a week approximately to rank our preferences. Um, from this point onwards, from the 6th of May to the 8th of May, the first round of offers were made. So. The number of jobs that are available, so for example, for our year, I think there were approximately 400 jobs available or less, um, 300 something, 400. So in the first round, all the people that ranked from one to 400, for example, will be made job offers. Now you have 48 hours to respond to this job offer. So that's the first round. The second round was between the 13th to the 15th of May 2020. And then from the 18th of May to the 4th of June, your references, so your referees were contacted. They were sent an email. Um, they will get a link, which will connect them to Oreo. And then from there on, they have to fill in sort of a questionnaire about you. You have your references. So you need three references here. Um, so it's very important to make sure that these three people are people that you're able to get in touch with um, at the time because once you've been selected and you go through the whole, whole process they will send them an email you need to put an email that they can be contacted on not an old email an email that they use frequently but at one point they will send you um, send the send these doctors essentially emails which will lead them to a portal in Oriel and there will be a set of questions that will essentially be a questionnaire that they'll have to fill in. There's a misconception that they will need to upload a letter of recommendation. Um, that is not true. They will be sent a link to a portal and they will have to answer a series of questions. So it needs to be an email that they're reachable on. It needs to be someone who should be able to who should be able to talk about you um, very well, very coherently, essentially, who has experience working with you personally, and you need to talk to them beforehand that, hey, like, I'm putting your name down right now. And then there are clearing offers that are made. Um, so that's between the 18th to the 20th of May. Um, and then the information is released, and the references were collected for the clearing uh, offers from 25th may to 4th june and then that was pretty much it that's it you're good to go and you will be commencing your job between july to august part three of the video going over the interview for foundation year two will be out very soon in the meantime please share this video with your friends and subscribe to support our channel